Hello and welcome. My name is Kelly Wilk, and today we'll be doing a meditation with the archangels. We'll begin by taking deep breaths in and out, relaxing ourselves, relaxing ourselves mind and body and spirit. Throughout this meditation, we'll be taking deep breaths in and out, relaxed, easy, and free flowing. From this place of relaxation, we bring our awareness to our connection to the earth, how it grounds us and stabilizes us. We feel the great positive magnet of Mother Earth drawing out any impurities, any negativity, any heaviness or darkness, pulling it away from ourselves, away from our physical selves, our mental selves, all of our subtle selves, and into the Earth where it can be safely transmuted. We are also aware of our connection to the heavens, to the sky, to the light. We feel a powerful, almost electric connection to that light. We become aware of it, pulling us ever upward towards light, towards grace, towards peace and contentment. We feel firmly anchored between these two poles of grounding and stability, of expansion and light. We safely encompass ourselves with some of this extra white light, creating very safe, very strong shield all around ourselves. We know now that we are grounded, we are connected, we are protected. We are safe here in sacred space, able to do good spiritual work on many levels, whether it be healing, meditation, intuition, or anything else. For now, for today, we welcome the presence of the great angels. We picture ourselves in our sacred space and we welcome the angelic presences of the many beings of light that are not only always around us, but that want to connect to us, to guide and help us. First, with great humility, we picture the awesome presence of the archangel known as Michael. We know that his presence is before us. We may only get a feeling or we may see him very clearly. Perhaps we are only aware of a rustle of wings or a powerful energy field, or a flash of blue light. But we know if we honestly call on his name and for his help, he can come and he will. Right now we ask Michael to be with us to aid us in clearing any energies that are no longer beneficial for us. These may be forces working against us internally, externally, or very possibly both. 
We ask that he take his great sword of light and of truth and help us to cut any cords, any cords, darkness, darkness or attachment, regret or guilt, any other negative cords that are binding us, that are restricting our movements upwards and forwards. We feel the power of his great sword. It slices through the darkness and we feel ourselves slowly and surely being freed. We allow any bonds, any cords to fall away down to the earth where they are dissolved and absorbed. At times, this archangel might cut a cord and it may immediately begin to grow back. But please know that you can let it dissolve. You will be safe. You can be cleared in safety, in light, and for your higher good. Once this process is complete, we feel the gentle blue of Michael's light shining on us. We may feel a sensation of being enlightened, being made more light. We may feel a sensation of having wings wrapped around us. Or we may feel a different feeling entirely. Perhaps we see or hear or smell something that lets us know the process is completing, that we are now soaking in the light of this powerful angel, that we are being balanced and restored. We give eternal thanks to this great being for his aid. And as he leaves, we usher in the presence of another great being of light, that of Gabriel, a famous messenger angel. Gabriel comes closer and closer to us. Again, we may simply feel a presence. We may, may hear sounds like the whoosh of air or a heavenly trumpet. We may feel or see something. We give thanks to this great being of light for being here with us. Gabriel does indeed arrive with his trumpet and he is able to attune us to the sounds of the divine, to messages directly from spirit, We feel him taking his great trumpet of heavenly light and blowing a beautiful sound. It is clearing us, clearing our ears, clearing our minds, clearing all of our fields. So that we are able to better hear what is true? What is God given? What is a message from the light? With his divine assistance, we are able to truly, truly understand if something we hear is in fact truth and right for us to hear and absorb now or if it is somehow discordant 
and not aligned with the light, not being given for our highest and greatest good. And we may release those messages. Release them with a blessing and send them away from yourself. Instead, we are aware of the continued clearing of our ear chakras, of our minds, of our entire selves, as the sound of the trumpet goes on and on, fully clearing us, fully opening us to messages only from the divine, only for our own greater good, only for the greater good of all of those around us. When this process feels complete, we may feel wrapped up in a silvery or golden or simply white light. We may feel ourselves wrapped up in some heavenly music or in angel wings. And we'll wait here for a moment or any specific sign or message. That we are able to receive from Gabriel and from the light. Giving thanks to this great being We hear or see or feel him depart and are aware now of another great celestial being coming forward to us to work with us now. This great being of light is Raphael, the archangel of healing. He comes forth in a brilliant green. We may feel certain sensations when he approaches. We may hear or see something particular, but we are aware that this great being is coming forward to do some work with us now. In great humility and with great gratitude, we welcome the Archangel Raphael. This angel has a great wand a great Cadducees, a healing wand with the very symbol of healing on the end. And he directs it now towards each and every one of us. Using the powerful healing of God, he pours forth green light on each of us, sending us healing, and most of all, sending us God's love. We open ourselves to this healing, and we may also at this time be given guidance on how best to affect our own healing, physical or otherwise, or perhaps how best to aid another close to us in healing. We open ourselves to these messages now. Once we feel this healing has been complete, we give thanks to Raphael. We are aware of his great presence leaving us. And we welcome the fourth and final archangel we will be working with. The great traveler Uriel comes forth.
we are aware of his heavenly presence. We feel his gentle energies. We may see a particular color or notice a certain sound or scent that alerts us to his presence. But we know he is here now. This great angel helps us focus our light in the way that is most helpful for us to move forward with our own divine plan now. You see, he holds up a great bow and arrow. As he holds it up, he notches the arrow. He looks at a target before us. He is showing us the way. He is showing us what our next focus should be. He is guiding us on what steps to take next so that we can achieve our next divine goal so that we can hit the mark. Allow him to guide you, to offer you some insight, some focus on what the best next steps would be. Once you feel this message has been delivered, we give thanks. We give thanks to the mighty being that is Uriel. We give thanks to the archangels and the many other beings in the angelic realm that are always helping us, that are always helping all of earth. We give thanks to them and we rest in our place of peace, in our place of light, in our place of healing and meditation. Thank you.